Hello everyone, good morning and welcome back to another vlog. It is Wednesday the 10th of January and today we actually have a double podcast recording which means I'm going to be sat in this position for probably the next like five hours and I always get myself like a really easy breakfast on podcast recording days so I literally always get myself an nomadic pop from downstairs because it just saves me having to cook and do stuff in the morning when I've already got to get up early and get ready anyway. So yeah, today we have got a double record. I've actually got a really busy day today. I'm pretty much going to be on my laptop all day so when we do a double record that means we actually do four episodes in one go because we have two episodes come out a week one on a tuesday one on a thursday and we always do those like bulk in one but because saf is going skiing we're having to do four in one so we're going to be sat here for a very long time today and i've just finished getting ready luckily i actually managed to get ready so quickly i only got out of bed half an hour ago and i'm sat here fully ready and now i have like half an hour until we need to record and then after that i've got like a two hour break where I need to film two different ads and then I've got a meeting which is a very 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 exciting meeting on zoom and I think that's probably gonna last like an hour and a half and then after that I'm either gonna go to the gym maybe not today though because I'm gonna start this new thing on Instagram reels and on TikTok I don't know if I'm gonna start it from Monday or if I'm gonna start it from this weekend but the yogurt can you see that it just landed on the leaf basically yeah i don't know if i'm gonna start it from monday if i'm gonna start it from today but but i'm gonna do like 30 days in the gym and film myself because i'm such a newbie in the gym and i feel like it can be such a scary place for like new people to go into and just really really nerve-wracking and i want to do like a little video every day of what i do in the gym like to give you guys motivation and then come back and cook myself like a nice meal that is like perfect for like a post-gym routine and i thought it'd be really cool to like bring you guys along and do like 30 days of that so if you do want to see that make sure you're following my instagram and my tiktok because that is going to be posted very very soon if not to be honest by the time you're watching this video i think i would have already posted the first one but yeah that is my plan but then also basically this is why i don't know if i'm going tonight because we are currently watching all of the marvel films in order so we watched captain america the other night then i watched captain marvel yesterday and then tonight we're watching iron man but we're watching them in chronological order rather than the order that they came out in because apparently you're meant to watch them in chronological order but i am hooked like i'm i think i'm actually gonna be a massive massive marvel fan after this once i finish all my meetings i do think i'm gonna grab my bag drive straight over to byron's and we're gonna watch iron man and maybe iron man 2 tonight as well but yeah i feel like i've got a lot to catch you guys up on i feel like i haven't really done like a normal vlog properly because i vlogged a bit after christmas but and that was like my last vlog you guys would have seen but honestly like i just feel like i didn't really tell you much other than the fact that I went on a date and that was literally what I spoke about. My voice sounds so funny this morning. I don't know if I'm getting a cold. Please, no, I don't want another cold. Let me try some of this. I'm getting like a headache. It's like a headachey sort of cold feeling. Mmm. Mmm. These are so good. This is the double chocolate one, but I also love the honeycomb one. Turn out there. Anyway, what I wanted to tell you guys, this was so embarrassing, right? Basically, when I got back from Disney, well, when I went to bed on the second night of Disney, so it was the night we got back from Disneyland, like actual main Disneyland park, and watched the fireworks. I said to myself, I was like, I have a bit of a funny belly. And I just knew, I was like, something doesn't feel right, but I, I have IBS, so I was like, I'm probably just gonna have like a cute IBS attack in the middle of the night. And then we ended up ordering McDonald's, and I think that might have pushed it over the edge because I then woke up about half past three in the morning with the most horrendous food poisoning slash could have been neurovirus slash 24 hour stomach bug i've ever had like i lost every bit of dignity about myself in that bathroom i did not sleep i was on the toilet obviously being sick at the same time it was just vile i i would not wish that upon my worst enemy and then i had to obviously get like home the next day and doing the travel journey whilst feeling like that and whilst being sick let me tell you it's the worst just the worst thing i've ever been through i didn't think i was gonna recover i thought that was it but i'm fine now which is crazy like once it left my system so i had a fever and sweats and like a headache and stuff when i got back once i slept all through the night felt a bit sticky and dehydrated when i woke up the next day but other than that completely fine so back to normal now back to regular scheduled programming and i'm recording the podcast i've been working ever since really like since like january 3rd but today's my first proper 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 day back at work i would say where everything is about to get like super busy again but yeah i'm now gonna go away and eat my breakfast and then once i've done the podcast record i will come on here and catch you guys up and let you guys know how they were my voice 
hurts guys we have just been speaking for four hours straight but i think those episodes are probably some of the best ones that we've done we did a really 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 fun one on astrology and like star signs and compatibility and it was so good so obviously if you don't listen to the podcast already this is your sign to go listen to it but yeah i've now been speaking four hours straight we did finish half an hour early which is really good it is currently 1 at 27 but we were meant to finish at 2 but i'm actually going to go up to cows he is going to make me a toasty for lunch he messaged me he was like do you want toasty when i get back and i was like oh, yes please and that saves me cooking lunch and then i'm going to have a little quick tidy around and then i've actually got another meeting at four today is literally just filled with work and meetings and actually after my lunch i also need to come back downstairs and film two ads so i'm gonna have a little hour lunch break and then get back to doing some work so actually this vlog so far hasn't been that interesting all i've literally told you is that i was sick and went to the toilet at the same time and i recorded the podcast this is why you guys love my vlogs lunch break at callum's i actually don't think i've known anybody to make a better cheese toasty than callum did you fry it again yeah, I mean, yeah. look oh my god it looks so good i just popped down to the shop in between filming to go and get some chicken but this is the only chicken they had so i'm gonna have to try and make a chicken caesar salad tonight with sliced chicken don't really know how this is gonna go but i just really 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 fancied another one i had one last night and it was so good this is also like super random but I ordered from Amazon. Oh, it's literally just one of the things I ordered new oven glove. I also ordered some new tea towels because I just needed like new basic stuff, but my oven glove was ruined. I don't know when. One day it was fine, and the next my gray oven glove is now black. So I got myself a new oven glove. I love adulting, and I treat myself to some new tea towels as well, and a new water bottle, but apparently only the oven glove has come. This truly is the lighting in my kitchen right now i have no idea what is going on but i am finally done with meetings for the day it feels so good to be off of my laptop for a little while i did just find out some really exciting news though you guys are going to be finding out my secret project like way before i thought you were gonna that's all i'm gonna say but literally like just over a month and i'm like how i didn't even realize i was allowed to speak about it so i'm so excited I feel like i've just got like a massive like spring in my step now after that and today's just been like a really productive work filled day and it feels good to be back to it but i'm now gonna have some dinner i'm actually gonna cook dinner with saf on facetime because we haven't had a proper catch-up in ages we were like oh it's gonna be cute if we like cook dinner together and eat dinner on facetime whilst we have a catch-up so unfortunately we'll not be filming any of the audio because we need an actual catch-up but i will show you guys what i'm making for dinner i'm literally making like the most basic dinner i'm having a chicken caesar salad and it's gonna take me about five minutes to make <laughs> I am obsessed with making a Caesar salad right now and the sliced chicken has actually worked weirdly well but this is my salad for dinner and I'm loving my bowls as well these are from Primark but anyway I'm now gonna FaceTime Saf and we're gonna have a catch up but I just thought I'd show you my finished dinner before I do that catch up has been had my hair looks crazy I need to wash it again I'm having a bit of an issue at the moment where I literally wash my hair and the next day it's gonna be greasy again I washed this two days ago and it's already so greasy but oh thought that was a door anyway I'm actually now about to head over to Byron's I realized there really hasn't been much in this vlog today i promise it hopefully will get a little bit more interesting tomorrow but basically like i was explaining earlier we're watching all the marvel films so we're gonna go over and we're gonna watch iron man tonight which i think i'm most excited for this one because iron man might actually be one of my like favorite are they called superheroes i don't know i don't really know much about the marvel universe yet so like all the right terms but i'm really excited to watch iron man also i don't think i've actually shown you guys my living room since i like did it after christmas i'm just gonna quickly show you this is my little sofa area i got lots of new cushions and a new blanket to put on it which looks really nice i'm going to keep that out all the time now and then that is my new like coffee table area i finally got my cause figure out that byron got me for my birthday and it looks so good in here and then they're my two new little vases which i got from primark and then i finally got the candle out that jake jamie got me for my birthday and this i bought myself like finally i just feel like i've got all my new like decor out and stuff but i'm aware that it's very nude and very white which is why i wanted to add little bits of black because i already had the black 
sticks in here from the Jo Malone thing and I was like, I feel like it needs to be tied in, but now it looks so good. And honestly, in the day when all the natural light is coming through and it's all like brightly lit and white, it just feels and looks so nice. Oh, maybe I'll show you it tomorrow, but yeah, I just thought I'd show you my new little living room update after Christmas. This is still the exact same, by the way. Oh, that is the door Callum is here. Yeah, this is still the exact same. And Callum is gonna help me get all of this off of the wall next week. This is still here from when I did the I'm a Celeb video and it looks vile. <laughs> I thought we could get ready together this morning. I'm looking ghostly pale. Like, I think this could potentially be the most pale I've ever been. I have fake tan on my body, but like it's gone so patchy that tonight I am gonna redo it. I've told myself tonight is, is pamper night in like full swing because I can't be walking around looking this transparent anymore. I am gonna head into town today because I need to take a couple of pictures and I also just wanna pick up a couple of things from town. I did a little get ready with me over on my TikTok and I was basically speaking about the fact that sweet tea lip liner from Morphe gonna go and i don't know why but like, i personally this is just me i never understand this and there might be a different reason for it, i don't know but i never understand why brands discontinue items that so many people like what is the point in doing that honest to god the amount of people that i know that use morphe sweet tea lip liner it just makes no sense to me that they're now discontinuing it so i did see a tiktok basically saying that they've got none left in the manchester arndale one but i'm gonna try my luck and see if they've put any more out and if they have i mean morphe lip liner are so cheap anyway they're literally like three pound so i'm just gonna buy like five of them and just keep them in my makeup bag like as a little stash and hopefully that will last me a while i also planned on having such cute hair today i was gonna do two little braids and then my hair was just way too greasy for that like there's no way i needed like freshly washed hair to be able to do the two braids so instead i've sleeked it up in this really tight bun which i think i'm gonna be regretting because it's so cold outside i think my ears are gonna absolutely freak freeze but i don't have any ear muffs or anything so they're just gonna have to freeze oh just whilst i was doing my hair sat watching some youtube videos so i i've grown up on youtube right i've been on youtube for god i'm 23 now i want to say 11 years potentially moving on to 12 years and i've grown up on youtube like i have been there since the very beginning i remember watching zoe and alfie and tanya and jim and casper and joe and like all of the absolute like og brick crew and they were like my favorite favorite youtubers ever and i was just sat thinking to myself this morning like it makes me so sad that just the industry just isn't like that anymore i don't know if any of you used to watch them or like if you kind of joined the whole youtube scene a little bit after they like kind of stopped doing it well they all still do it but you know what i mean like back in the day they would all do like these massive collab videos and like it was just insane and then after that i feel like the next generation of youtubers kind of came along which dare i say i maybe was slightly part of which was like really cool and amazing for me so literally my biggest dream but i just miss those old days of youtube like i used to go to everyone's meet and greets i used to buy all of their books like i'd go to all of their book tours i would live breathe eat and sleep british youtube i remember when zoella came out with zoella beauty in Superdrug, and oh my god it literally broke the internet and when she like brought out girl online and i don't know i was just sat thinking about it like how amazing those days truly were but also just how like i guess you just never know anymore how youtube's gonna go in the future for me i feel like i will always love long form content because that's like where my heart is that's what i've always known like when i was growing up obviously like i said i used to just watch youtube so i've always grown up around long form content and watching vlogs but whereas now i feel like yeah people still watch vlogs and people still watch all of that but obviously since tiktok has become a thing i feel like people's attention span has just got so much shorter and people would rather sit and scroll on tiktok rather than watch like a long youtube vlog and i guess i'm just curious like are you like that or do you prefer coming onto youtube and watching a vlog like i feel like a lot of people nowadays will be like oh yeah i've got my favorite like tiktokers and stuff but do you watch youtube still i don't know i mean obviously i know all of you guys still watch my videos which is amazing because like i said youtube is my number one platform that i just think i will honestly post on until like i physically can't anymore like that for me like i was i've been doing it for so long that it's just ingrained in me ingrained i meant engraved can't speak today just engraved in me to pick up the camera and vlog and just film my life like if i wasn't doing this it'd be so bizarre to me but yeah i don't know i just find it crazy and i just guess i miss like a lot of the old do you remember the old school youtube as well i mean to be fair she's actually still my favorite one of my favorites but alicia marie like i used to watch all of her videos like my life is ava law diy like nikki and gabby all of the american youtubers when they do their like back to school series that literally blew the f 
up like that was insane back in the day i remember I used to be and bethany motor bethany motor and her aeropostale aeropostale collection like it's just so many memories unlocked and i just want to sit and like binge watch old youtube and just pretend that it's still like that but i don't know i guess it was just making me think like i'm so lucky to have so much amazing support from you guys on my youtube and stuff because yeah i guess like youtube just isn't as much of a thing as it used to be and i really want it to make it come back like 2024 I really want like everyone to be back on YouTube and like just I don't know like even tiktokers and stuff who don't do YouTube like I want everyone to do YouTube because I think it's so fun and I want to sit and watch everybody's lives but yeah I guess it's just kind of like a little thank you really for sticking by me and sticking by my vlogs and my videos and going through all the different phases because my god there have really been some on my channel like 24 hour season was wild and then now I'm kind of just back on like vlogging my life and filming my life but I feel like food challenges will always kind of be part of that because that just is me i love fast food a little bit too much but yeah i don't know it's made me really happy and i feel like i'm gonna spend like well the rest of january we're watching all of the marvel films in chronological order i like doing stuff with background noise that is how i work i hate so like i love silence but i hate silence at the same time my idea of silence is having something on the tv or having like a youtube video on because i just like it for comfort and for background noise it just makes me feel like someone else is there with me yeah for the rest of january i feel like every time i'm just like sat around like doing work and stuff i'm just gonna put old school youtube on and just sit and watch it all and like all of the old challenges and stuff and you know i just miss people uploading like 40 minute vlogs which i think is why i do that because like that's the content that i want to see from other people do you remember as well this is why bath and body works coming to the uk for me was such a big thing because i remember how badly i wanted bath and body works when i was younger because i would watch all the american youtubers have it and i remember like the wet and wild walking on eggshells palette and the eos lip balms and the baby lips and all like the american things that we couldn't get over here that it's just so crazy now that we can because i remember trying to order them off of ebay and like i remember my first youtube payment was 60 pounds and i had to work for like three years to get that 60 pounds and as soon as i got it i went onto ebay and i ordered myself a it used to, well i think they're still called pocket backs from bath and body works and i ordered myself one and i actually still have it i should probably get rid of the hand sanitizer in it because that is going to be so off but i just can't part with the little like bottle because it's the first thing that i ever bought with any money that i made from this job and i actually have it on my shelf where all my crystals are because i'm like it means something to me but yeah it was just i don't know it was crazy and like bath and body works three wick candles what other like what makeup items did we all like pile over i remember when zoe uploaded her first ever makeup tutorial and it fully broke the internet bourgeois healthy mix i remember that rimmel stay matte powder i still kind of use that sometimes actually what else did we use the orange rimmel foundation like rimmel wake me up foundation loved that collection last imperfection concealer there has been some real phases on the internet and i'm so glad that i've like gone through through every single one and like experience every single one because they're just oh i just wish it was like that again so much i'm actually addicted to morphe guys morphe i i love you if you're watching this i love you why does my jumper today look like a good suit of armor i use morphe every single day i actually don't know what i do without morphe in my life i just love going into the morphe shop although i think i might have said this online already actually but apparently they're shutting all the morphe stores in america but i hope that doesn't mean they're shutting the ones in the uk it can't i feel like they're gonna because why would they shut all the american stores and then just leave the random uk ones open but they always have such a good sale on in there like nothing is ever full price in the manchester arndale morphe that's why i never order it i'll always just go in because you're always going to get it cheaper makeup's kind of slain today i can't lie it would probably look better I have no idea what I was going to say then. I was going to probably look better if, but I'm actually not sure because I'm quite enjoying it. I just wish I had the two little plaits. Morphe. Ov's got this for Christmas and I'm going to use these little nude shades just to put some colour back onto my lid. But yeah, I just wanted to like just talk about old YouTube for a hot sec because I really, really, really miss it. I like making my vlogs, even though I have a very crazy life sometimes and do like the most wildest things. I love making my vlogs just super homely and super normal. And I hope that that's what you guys enjoy watching but yeah i'm just curious i guess i'm just curious what you like watching in vlogs and what you want more of in vlogs and that was just a conversation really like i said gonna go into town today because i want to get some morphe lip liners and i also just want to honestly get out and get some fresh air and then i'm gonna go to the gym later i think i said yesterday about what i'm gonna do with the 30 day thing but i don't think i'm gonna start that until monday because i just want to meal plan and like plan what meals i'm gonna film and stuff then obviously I need to go and buy all the stuff so i'm just gonna have a couple of days in the gym to ease my 
myself back into it first before I start whipping out the camera whilst I'm in there and then I'm going to get into a routine of doing it but I'm excited because I feel like work's getting really exciting again like I'm on my first shoot back next week obviously I have a podcast shoot every week but this is like my first shoot back in a studio which I'm really excited for and it's for something really exciting you're actually going to find out like the two secret projects that I have at the moment in the same week one of them is more just like an announcement but one of them is like it's literally gonna be out that week which I would, did not realize or was not expecting at all so that's really exciting February is actually gonna be a very exciting month for me so I'm excited that January is like just slowly picking up with work and I'm slowly getting to like enjoy more time at home I'm so glad that I'm actually getting to get the use out of the money that I spend on my rent because I spend so much on rent here but and I just felt like I was barely ever here so it feels nice to actually be in the house and enjoying my flat and just like waking up every day and like just actually being at home it's so nice i've also been getting more use out of the office recently because the office is kind of like i work in there but i don't like it's more of a storage room for work stuff and then if i have meetings and stuff i'd always do them in there but ever since doing the podcast obviously we record in there every week i think i'm going to potentially look into buying like a new little podcast background or like decorating it a little bit different this year just because obviously it is on camera literally every single week because a lot of people said like we want to watch the podcast guys you can watch the podcast you just have to watch it on spotify but it is a spotify video podcast so when you click on the episode just like properly click on it so it like goes big and you'll be able to see Saf and i but i know a lot of people also just like like to listen to podcasts rather than watching but we just wanted to have the option there because i feel like for me being a youtube girly as much as i love just listening to something and having it in the background i do just appreciate the visual i've actually nearly finished my makeup now so i'm gonna just pop some lashes on oh my god this is like a little throwback as well actually sorry i feel like i've been talking for ages i got a pr parcel through the post the other day and it was some gwa lashes and i honestly haven't used their lashes for so long but they used to be my favorite whatever ones in fantasy and i would just like cut them in half because they're a little bit too big for me when they're not cut but when they're cut they're the best lashes in the world just super cute and super fluttery and they sent me a parcel and they were like hi anna we haven't sent you a top up for like years so like here's some lashes so they're the lashes that I'm wearing at the moment and they're gorgeous I was getting quite a few comments on it and everyone was like what lashes are you wearing and it's those they're amazing but anyway I am now gonna go and I'm gonna put some lashes on finish getting ready and then we're gonna walk into town and I need to get well I don't need to get but I actually really want to get an iced coffee it's gonna be my first iced coffee of 2024 the glam is glamming today my makeup recently like I don't want to toot my own horn but it looks really good anyway these are the lashes how cute are these they're just like little tiny fluttery lashes and I love them but I think Think, if they have it right I think I'm gonna buy a new camera today because I have had this camera now for a really long time this is like the camera that I've used pretty much ever since I started YouTube apart from when I had a DSLR camera which is like the Canon 600D I think anyway this is gonna mean nothing to you guys if you don't know anything about cameras but I have the G7X Mark II and it's just quite zoomed in and Canon have recently come out with a new camera and it's like a really small handheld one but it's the same quality as this and it has a tripod built in and it's a wide-angle lens so I think I'm gonna have a play around with it in town if I can find it today and see if I like it and if I do then I might buy it for my vlogs because I feel like the vlogs just need an upgrade you know I feel like I've been vlogging on this camera for ages now and if I'm going to continue to like vlog rather than do like sit down talky videos I feel like I need to upgrade the camera so I'm going to play around with it and see what it's like I just really want a wide angle lens and you can't do that on this camera but yeah I'm already now I'm dressed hair is done makeup is done and we're going to have a little walk into town am I going to be a basic bitch today and try my first blank street coffee I absolutely am I mean everybody always gets matches from here but I don't like matcha so I'm gonna try a coffee. I did just go to film myself trying this however my camera just will not focus on me and I've also bought some new sunglasses that I wanted to show you but I'll just show you them when I get home but I've got my blank street coffee. It is 10 out of 10. This is my first iced latte of the year and I think this might be my new favourite place to go and get an iced latte from. They've been in London for ages but we finally got one in Manchester. Obsessed already. Guys I'm awfully hot in this outfit but these are my new glasses. Everything looked so like warm yellow when I had them on and now they're not they're covered in makeup but we went to the northern quarter and I went into all these cute little shops and I just saw them and I really liked them I just feel like I need to not give a f 
when I go out and just actually wear what I want and like I have so many cool sunglasses but I just won't wear them so I'm embarrassed but like I actually really like them I know they're giving like Edna mode but I'm kind of vibing with it like I actually really like them anyway Byron's back here with me and we're actually now going to go to the traffic centre because we just couldn't get the pictures I mean I managed to get them in the end it was just a bit of a failed day of trying to get the pictures for work but we're going to go to the traffic centre going to go look at the new camera going to see if I can get some more Philip liners in there and just have a little look around and maybe get some food I really fancy Nando's so whether we're going to make one or we're going to go and get one I'm not too sure and then we're going to watch Iron Man 2 tonight because we watched Iron Man last night and it was so good okay we've made it to Selfridges in the Trafford Centre and I am going to treat myself to this I have a bit of addiction to cold bucks and stuff at the moment it's where my um grey tracksuit sets from and I've wanted this for ages and it looks so good on I couldn't try it on without my hoodie on because I don't have a top underneath but how cute love it look at the new hoodie I am in love with this it's I love the zip on it how like you can pull it so you can have it all the way down like that but then you can also have it so it's up and it's just like in the middle and then it just says buxton on it and it's got a big hood but i basically i can't actually say what it is just yet someone from one of the brands that i'm doing one of my secret products with just come around and dropped one another of the samples off and we just found something a super super exciting out which has made me so happy that i'm basically getting to like involve all of my friends within the campaign which just made me so happy because i've never got to do that with all of my friends before so now when i've got the shoot for it next week everybody is now actually going to be on the shoot with me which is going to be so good but we are going to now make at home nando's because we went to the traffic center all i got was this and i forgot to look at the camera i forgot to get a morphe lip liner and i forgot to get the camera so i literally forgot the two things that i went out today for how does that happen then parcel well, to me to you to me so, what are you doing one, what three two What the f***? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I'm done, I'm done! I'm done! Can you open it for me now? Oh, what have they got? Is that? They are! Oh, this is new in Prime! It's Glowberry Limited Edition Glow in the Day! <laughs> it can't be Glowberry, I've already got Glowberry. I will try it. Oh no, it's Cherry Freeze. Callum wanted one of them as well, and Callum's on his way over, so we can have one. Should I do a test? Yeah, yeah go on. Glowberry Prime! <laughs> it's not Glowberry, it's Cherry Freeze. Oh my god, it changes colour when it gets cold, though. Is that. <gasps> yeah, it does. What does it? Look. Wait, what? It watch when I, I hold it, it goes white. Does it? Yeah, yeah watch. <gasps> See there? Oh my god, it wait, put one in the fridge and then we'll show it on camera later. Cold and water it'll... and hot water. So I think it'll go. <gasps> Oh my god, that's sick. And then watch when it goes warm. <gasps> Shut up. And then cool to it. <laughs> Let it just get to its maximum coldness. That's so cool. See, it turns that blue. Wait, so what colour is it going to go in the fridge then? Blue? Blue. blue. That's so fun. Oh, yes. you can see next to look at, oh, oh, yeah, look at that. Look at that. Let's have a taste test. That's cherry blast. Taste test. Isn't that oh. delicious? Mm. <laughs> that actually might be one of the nicest ones. Right, guys, it's Nando's night. We're going to try and make an at-home Nando's. I got this new baking tray from Asda, and it's gorgeous. It's an on-stick one. But I've got this. I got this from the Ice and Food Warehouse. It's a Nando's Peri Peri Bag and Bake smoky barbecue. And then when we were in Asda earlier, I got some Peri Peri salt. I also bought this from M&S. It's not actually Nando's, but it's just Peri Peri marinade. And then Cal was just running upstairs to get his other one so we can have, like, some barbecue and then some medium Nando's. And then we've also got some sweet corn, some broccoli, some mash and then we're gonna make some pear prey salt with chips as well so fingers crossed this is actually gonna look really good the only rule is you're not allowed to stop moving whilst we're serving <laughs> <laughs> it looks really good though guys i've made my very own at home nando's it's looking gorgeous you're soft i'm sorry you can't stop Byron, you stopped. Here is the finished dish, guys. It doesn't really look like Nando's. I don't know, it still looks good. We got mash. Yeah, I think it, it does look Nando's esque. Curry salted chips, broccoli, sweet corn, barbecue, Nando's chicken, medium Nando's chicken, and then some mash. Good morning, everyone. It is the next day. We actually had our Nando's last night, and then we watched Iron Man 2, and then didn't end up going to bed until like 3 in the morning because I was sat up with Byron brainstorming ideas for a secret project, and we literally didn't end up going to bed until like half 3 in the morning. But I am actually going to end this vlog here and then I think I'm going to start a new one because I'm actually about to head out to the traffic centre. I'm off to face gym to go and get a facial. Well it's not really a facial but it kind of is like basically I don't even know what face gym is. I don't really know what it is if I'm honest. I just saw that one of my friends went and got like got like a facial 
massage thing from them and it's meant to be incredible like i've seen so many people post about it so i'm getting it's a 70 minute one that i paid for it wasn't the cheapest thing in the world i'm gonna be honest but i just feel like my skin it needs a little bit extra like tlc recently and just my face like it's more like a face workout like when they like massage your face and stuff it's all to do with like if i'm getting this right lymphatic drainage i think it said that on the one that i've booked and i hold a lot of like excess water weight in my face and like this thing is meant to like sculpt your face and everything so i'm really excited i'm gonna put updates on my instagram story so make sure you guys are following my instagram if you want to keep up to date with that but yeah i'm gonna end this vlog here because i think it's very long if i'm honest which is kind of nice because i like long vlogs but um this is originally only meant to be a spend a day with me and now it's been like spend two and a half days with me i'm also very embarrassed to be going to the traffic center like this because my hair is giving grease ball i'm so pale i don't want to tan yet because i knew i was getting this so I was like, there's no point me tanning and just i need to get in the shower and have a pamper shower that is my plan for later on tonight but thank you so much for watching i really hope you guys have enjoyed if you did please smash a huge thumbs up and other than that i will see you very soon for a brand new video Mwah. bye <laughs>